Anyway, no. today I have a special um, kitchen treat for ya. So in honor of Graveyard Girl, because she usually does this type of video, um, this will just be once in a while thing for me. I don't plan on continuing this style. Unless you enjoy it, maybe I will. But um, she is way funnier than I am. But <laughs> anyway, um, so I bought this thing at like a clear out center. And it's called Amazing Fries Maker. And apparently if you throw a potato in here and you push down, it creates french fries. So the directions are on the back. As you can see, there are three steps. Potato, cover, push it out. Okay, great for dicing and cubing. Easy to clean with plastic comb. Here's the plastic and uh, never touch the cutter with your hands. Push out and remove the cutter for better cleaning. Um, so yeah, everything looks pretty easy, pretty clear on here. So let's test it out. So I'm going to look at the directions here. And the cutter side is up here. I just touched it. I didn't cut myself though. And I'm going to grab a smaller potato because I tried this with sweet potatoes and it did, did not work. Like it got stuck actually. Okay, so here's a small potato and there's the cutter. This side is empty and I'm just going to push it through here. So put the top on and push. So it got crooked, which is making it hard to push down because it's getting stuck on the plastic. Alright, so standing helps. And then I'm going to take this and show you. Well, it looks like it works with regular potatoes. Um, oh, there we go, french fries. So it doesn't look as glamorous as that, but it did in fact make me some french fries. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these with that. And uh, I'm happy it works because sweet potatoes, I don't know, it was just too hard, too difficult. I guess they're not as soft um, as, but yeah, so note to self, it only works with softer potatoes, not big ones like yam fries. Alright, let's try it with a bigger potato. Make sure to center it so it doesn't do that getting stuck business again. I have to stand, sorry. It takes quite a bit of muscle. Lots of delicious fries. Well, this will be a lot quicker than chopping potatoes. Um, I like to chop them into slices and make potatoes that way. But this will be... Ooh, there's a little shred. This will be a lot quicker than using a knife to cut my potatoes and bake them. So, regardless if I want fries or not, if I just want baked potato of some sort, um, chopped or sliced. So anchor it down there like that so it doesn't move. More fries. Well, as you can see, it works like a charm. I've got a full tray of potatoes that I'll put here. Sprinkle a little bit of seasoning salt on them, bake them in the oven, and they will be mighty fine. I'll try to post some pictures for you of the end result. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this amazing fry maker as seen on TV. Uh, go ahead and check out Graveyard Girl. I'll try to put a link below with her with her channel. Uh, yeah. So anyway, have a good day.
day and don't forget to use the pick to clean out the, uh, the cleaner. Please like, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below if you've tried this before with yams or sweet potatoes because I certainly couldn't get it to work. Anyway, TTFN. Bye-bye.